Hey everyone, my name is Rob from Top Career Consulting, and on this channel, I explain exactly how I established myself as a freelance writer and digital marketer in the tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So if that is something that interests you, please subscribe down below, turn on that bell notification so you receive all my new content as soon as I publish it, drop a like, hit a comment. I really wanna know what you guys are interested on in learning next and it would really help out the channel, so I really appreciate it. I have broken this information down into bite-sized chunks, so it's really easy to watch the videos, gain the knowledge, turn around, and utilize it in your freelance careers. Mastering SEO is not easy, especially if you're brand new. So luckily, there are lots of tools out there to help you out today. So we're gonna start talking about some of the best tools that you can use if you're just starting out with SEO. So let's dig in. Number one, Ahrefs. It's one of the most highly recommended SEO tools you'll see out there. Their site audit tool lets you see exactly what parts of your website need improvement, and Ahrefs checks your website for over 100 SEO issues, including some of the following. Performance, social tags, HTML tags, content quality, incoming and outgoing links, localization, resources, and external pages. The Ahrefs Link Intersect tool is extremely valuable from a competitive analysis standpoint. Link Intersect shows who's backlinking to your top three competitors, but not to you. So why is this helpful? If a company is linking to three of your main competitors, odds are they'll also be open to linking to you. If a company is only linking to one of your competitors, they might not be as interested in linking to you. So Link Interest Deck helps you find great opportunities you might not know about otherwise. Number two, Moz. Moz is a highly recommended full service SEO software. And one of my favorite parts of Moz is the page optimization feature, which guides you step-by-step -step to improve your site's SEO. Moz does a great job of making SEO more transparent by letting you know all about your on-page errors. It'll also help you prioritize by telling you which errors should be addressed first. So Moz also monitors your site's traffic and optimization. It allows you to compare this to your competitor sites. So knowing how your competitors are performing tells you where you can adjust your own SEO. Number three is Google Trends. Google Trends is the place to start SEO research. And here's why. It'll show you how well your brand does over time. So analyzing this data is essential to your SEO strategy. Google Trends lets you compare your company to a competitor's to see which is more popular at the moment. This provides insight on what you're doing right now, as well as what you can learn from your competitors. Google Trends also tracks your brand by region and country, which is really helpful because it tells you where you need to increase your brand's visibility. Number four is SEM Rush. It's also another full inclusive platform and lots of people in the SEO community love it. What sets it apart is its domain versus domain analysis. And this provides an easy way for you to compare your website to competitor sites. Like other big platforms, SEM Rush's on-page SEO checker tool provides an easy way to keep track of your rankings. It also gives recommendations for how to improve your site performance. And that's all we have time for today. So next time we'll discuss the next four SEO tools and it's important to remember that you don't need to try all of these tools. You just need to find ones that work for you. So as always, please leave a comment down below. If you have an SE tool you'd like to share, consider subscribing for more great SEO tips and tricks. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time.